7, Facebook, YouTube, the World Wide Web. I want to welcome you all to Primal Sports Center. I'm your host, Dale. And I'm Kane the Shrub Watson. Yeah. And I do want to apologize for missing last week's show due to yeah. we are being busy, some of us off the island, some of us all over the next end of the island. So I do want to apologize for that. So we missed out on a lot last week. So picking up where we left on from the week before, we'll have in our conclusion of the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris. And some here in Jamaica dub it mm. as one of our worst Olympics. But I say we're just spoiled. You're yeah, spoiled. <laughs> yeah, I... We're spoiled by the bolt gear, but yet still, we have to give hats off to all the Jamaica athletes who went out there and competed. Um, yeah. I'm sure they wanted to do their best don't first those who didn't medal. I mean, Jamaica finished with six medals, but overall it was a testy are they, Olympics. Are, are, are disappointed Olympics. A from, disappointed from, Olympics. From, so from to our say, point of view. Yeah, from the pundits case, from whereby we had world leads and mm -hmm. favorites in races. And I mean, from sprints to hurdles to mm -hmm. 400 meters, but we saw where we had some surprise performances in the field events. Yeah. But overall, to cap Jamaica's performance, we finished with one gold medal, three silver medals, and two bronze. And if you do remember, last the last show we had, we made some bold predictions. And before we jump into Jamaica's performance, I personally want to apologize to mm. Sydney McClucken Lovren <laughs> for saying that she would not win the 400 meter hurdle. <laughs> and to me, that is preposterous yes. and blasphemous. How could I say that? She is what you would say, the epitome of a true champion. She mm. is leagues, head and shoulders above not only her competitors, her former self. I've never seen anybody on the track break a world record six times. You tell me in your recent memory, somebody that break their own record six times. Well, probably maybe, five times, because she's the first Maybe time. it's in by Eva, pole vault. No, on the track. On the track. No, we, we know in the field events, because we know they can move increments, up. Increments, yeah, increments, yeah. yeah. So but she's the only one that come to mind. She but overall, on the track, no. No, I've no. never seen it before. Yeah. Unless probably marathon runners, I'm not sure, but even so. Six times, I have mm -hmm. to double check that, but I'm sure that if somebody has done that before, they would be a big statue somewhere in Greece on Mount Olympus or something like that. But I do want to kick I things off by apologizing to Sidney McClellan because she ran 50.37. And I'm telling you, she's not only leagues above everybody, mm -hmm. she's leagues above her former self. She outdo herself and then she'd be like, oh, but I'm better than that. So right now her best competitor is herself from last week yes. because how can you, as i said that to me breaking the record which is a sixth time and i'm sure they're going to be a seventh once she stays healthy and fit and i mean that's where i want to start things up because i thought femke bull had a chance mm. i picked femke bull and i know i get i got some stick from it from um some of my friends mm. who who came on show the last time to say that how could i have picked femke to win who we picked sydney right yeah, obviously, Sydney. Oh, obviously. oh, me and Peter. Sorry, Peter picked. Yeah. Okay. Well, Peter, from my agreed, you know, said <laughs> something much off, you know, I tell you. But I mean, Femke came third, but she, again, another gold medal. She won gold medal four by four splitting, I think, one of the fastest 400 meter splits for a woman. So that's where I want to start to show off. And moving on now to Jamaica's performance, where, as I said, we'll finish with one goal. Mm. Three silver and two brands. One thing people said, Jamaica anti mafia play. So big up that. We get, we get, we go and gold medal. Shot put, Roger Stoner, 70 meters, Olympic record again. So, you know, it's not just, I mean, a fluke. So that throw to me is, goes down in history. And I said, not only to big up Roger Stoner, we had three finalists in the men's discuss. Yeah. That to show that we were very strong in the field. So, Roger Stoner, was it again the other two gentlemen in the discuss was come off the top of my head michael was one Travis michael and and how can i forget the next one is that is a casey i don't know you know, i can't forget <laughs> these things i soon tell you again but i don't know i have to big them up to show that heart or depth in the field events triple jump we had two finalists long jump we had two finalists yeah i mean and in the part we could have had three in both events so to kick things off as i said Roger Stone must be coming in to make the anthem play. Of course, yeah, of course. We had, we had a lot of, I wouldn't say favorites, but people who we thought that were true gold medal prospects from Kishane Thompson to 
Nikisha Price, who didn't make the 400 meter hurdles. I mean, Akira Nugent didn't run good in the hurdles finals. I mean, one of the release teams we were hoping that they would have helped Sharika Shelly four by one. Mm. I mean, so the pundits had it with us leaving probably 12 medals. 12. So, so we fell short there, but probably about half of that. So, yeah, the other medalists were Shanika Ricketts, again in the field, silver medal. Wayne Pinnock, again in the field, long jump, silver medal. Kishane Thompson, silver medal in 100 meter. Another gold medal favorite, mm. but we were, we're glad for the, for the silver. And Rajinda Kendall, bronze medal, men's shot put, another event in the field. And Rashid Broadbell in yeah. the men's 110 meter hurdle. So two medals on the track and four medals in the field. Next Olympics. 2028 Los Angeles and we're looking forward to that but before we get to 2028 Olympics and break down new sports that are coming in and sports that will not be there we have to look back and create this Olympics not only from a Jamaica standpoint but from I want to know is break dancing back for 2028 no no no, no. they exclude it right I was just yeah I was preparing for it yeah, yeah, I, was, yeah? I was going to yeah come here, I, was just, I was just wondering <laughs> you know, you know, and and back in the day break dance and you know why stir fry and all these why things. I witnessed something on my TV it was unbelievable boy right. oh, break dancing break dancing is an Olympic sport <laughs> wow wow Oh, and you know okay. the viral moment of, of the sports yeah. is Turkey shooter coming second. I mean, yeah. no equipment really. Other yeah, than yeah. The I'm calling him the hitman. Yeah, the hitman. <laughs> so, yeah, but the Turkish hitman boy. Overall deal, how do you grade this Olympics? Not uh, just for Jamaica, but as a as an as a Olympic Games. For me, I was a little bit disappointed. But, well, from the opening ceremony. Mm -hmm. Um, to even our performance and over I didn't I didn't watch much of it I must admit but um I, I wasn't feeling the vibes yeah. for me the vibes wasn't there I don't know maybe it's because of the whole thing surrounding Jamaica athletic camp yeah. and all. maybe it's that maybe yeah, but, it's just and that even so leading you know up I mean? to the Olympics we had a lot of mishaps from yeah. excluding members to putting them on yeah from people not on the list javelin thrower mm. Kemba Nelson I mean Team friends coming out publicly bashing the J3A and the GOA. Started um, off on a, on a Mills. Yeah. I mean, we see where Dad, female shot putter, mm. made some statements there in the latter part of the games, where she didn't qualify for the finals, saying that um, she wasn't comfortable because preparations didn't go her way because she didn't have her coach for two and a half weeks. Her coach yeah. is her husband, by the way. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I mean, she said that's a big support system for her and what you, what you that make affected of that, her though? performance. What do you make of that though? You know, an athlete training for four years for this moment and for some reason. More not, than not four getting, years because you yeah. know, coming up in the sport, you always want to yeah. reach to the highest. And the highest is competing at an Olympic Games. Not having your personal mm -hmm. coach there, is that, which is a technical event, a yeah. very technical event, not having your coach there. Mm -hmm. what, what exactly is the problem though? Do you think Roger Stone's coach was there? Stoner? Yeah. And possibly. I mean, possibly. You think that everybody, every single athlete coach was there in the Jamaican game? Um, I think for technical events, um, you, you, I, well, I think for all events, really, especially the technical, the field event, you, you should have your coach. You should have your coach. You should have your coach. You know, the, the coach is important. You know, pole vault, high drum, triple drum, discus. You, you can't say that just. So, the coach. all the members there at the Olympics, you think that the JOA. Mm -hmm. Or the J three. I think they're not evolving. No, you think that they should have everybody's individual coach pay for everybody's individual coach to be there. Is it a paid situation? Um, in terms of trip. But even so, I think something can be worked on. A statement came out from the J mm. No, sorry, the J three. Yeah. Saying that her coach was given accreditation for the day of her competing. The day. Yes. So what about the the so the, the time think, leading? So up? that's why I'm asking you. Do you think that? JOA slash J3 should pay for an athlete's coach to be there at the Olympic Village for two and a half weeks, straight short leading up to the event. Every single competitor should have their coach with them for two and a half weeks, being there paid by because the problem is Who, to get him there is, is to pay for him to be there. Yeah. And there were two competitors there. Mm. Two of them didn't he make said it. two weeks. She said two weeks. Two right? and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks. Yeah. So when did they call the camp? 
So you're saying once they call the camp, the coach I, should be there for two and a half weeks. Everybody. Well, don't call the general. camp. Don't call the camp then. That's what I, that's my point. You, you have to have your coach. I think tem, times are changing. Things. things no, but well, you call the camp, but you can say then you don't have to come to the camp because yeah. you are out there preparing. And stay where you are and prepare them. Exactly my point. Because I know so I know for a fact no, that Stephen Stephen Francis mm -hmm. they don't want to be involved in the camp because yeah. it always disrupts yeah. um, his program. So you go in your corner mm -hmm. and you prepare your coach. Yes. Outside yes. of the camp. Yes. So I, who does that fault lie on? Does that fault lie on the GOH? Well, 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 well. They, they, they request that all athletes attend the camp. Yeah. So then maybe have to go look back at the policy that them have in place, yeah. especially for technical, the highly technical events where you know. Which you event know, isn't technical though? No, oh, come on. Um, the, <laughs> all the, events. The, the, the two hundred isn't that technical. The four hundred isn't that technical. The eight hundred is just more tactical. Is technical? The, the hundred is, is is technical because of the the length of the race. And, and the, the next thing though, you notice that. We had no male and female competitors in the finals of the 200 and 400 meters. Yes. And we only had, well, we had two competitors mm. in the male final and one competitor in the female final. So the sprints from one, two, and four, we didn't have a lot of finalists. Yes. The oh. two and four, we had zero finalists. But back to, sorry, we will get yeah. to that. But back mm. to Dad's comments. I'm not saying she's wrong. Yeah, I'm not saying the jury is wrong, but how do you assess the situation? I have a final and middle ground. And somewhere it is a bit unfair, I think, on both parts. Mm. I don't think that she should, her coach should, they should pay for her coach for two and a half weeks to be there in the camp. But I'm saying that she doesn't have to be in the camp then for two and a half weeks yeah. to prepare for the games. Exactly. So if it's going to hinder mm. your performance, then you stay with your coach elsewhere. But even so, JOA made preparations for her to have her coach there mm -hmm. at the day of her. Well, what, which is more important? The preparation? Preparation, preparation of course. Exactly my point. Because I have, I have this view that <laughs> yeah. you win in training, yes. you only collect your trophies at tournaments. So they have it. They you, have just it. To, you just go to tournaments to collect your trophies. Yeah, so they have you it. You win in, from any preparation, you know. So, so, the part, they, so they have it in the reverse. Who? They have it in the reverse. Who have it in the reverse? Um, the, the whole policy no, that they have. If you can't pay for everybody's coach. For no, 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 no that's what I'm saying. They, they did it in the reverse. Mm -hmm. They did it in the reverse. Mm -hmm. Might as well you, 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 you prepare and then she, she on her own on the day of the competition. That's better. Oh, okay, I prefer that. Yeah. But she would complain then. <laughs> She's still going to complain. She's still going to yes, complain. But it's always going to be a complaint. I'm saying, I'm saying, is it, once it's not mandatory, I, I think, think that's the middle ground I that you can her find there. Interview was a bit emotional at the point because because um she made that statement right after just not competing and yeah you know, at the, the heat at the point. moment because yeah, Joe came out right after that and said that she got a lot of funding from them over the years. No, that's what I'm saying. They, they did it. Yeah. They so and 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 I must say this. I I don't want. I'm not bashing the, the Joe. Mm -hmm. But I think um, that le the Athletic Association, the J3s, I think they, they need to revise some of the policies mm -hmm. that they have. I mean, not, there's no perfect system. Here. Yeah, no, no. They, they're, they're trying their ways, they can improve. Yeah, but yeah. She's saying that even so, the field events mm -hmm. are a minority in terms of the output from the J3A. It is, it is, it is, it is in the eyes of a lot and, of people. And they don't get much. Because so can, who, no, but even so, you, can you imagine the. The minority sports in Jamaica. That don't <laughs> we'll, we'll go off. We'll go off yeah. to a different thing. So now. it's a whole <laughs> can yeah. of worms. You can what, what, what is reality doing? Okay. A game. lot of sports. Shot put. Nobody's gonna stay up at night to watch a shot put finals, really. I mean, but Jamaica competing as to, but that's what uh, we um, do. Um, we're um, talking um, average person. Uh, yeah, 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 you, yeah, you know that. We, you know they're not gonna yeah. stay up for it. It's not a glamour event. So yeah. it is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. It is what it is. So you think if I. Qualified for Olympics and I'm playing Olympics. Mm. Anybody would stay up and watch me play Olympics who not closely associated with me, like for example, my family, my friends. In, in table tennis? Yeah. And I'm playing first round, I'm it's, playing Marlon. You think the Jamaican right now walking out the half she know that I'm playing? No, no, mm. no, because it and is, that would be that would be a monumental feat. Yeah, no. but but the reality is no, because yes. table tennis itself is not a sexy sport. But the thing is, to, 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 the, to the wider. To which wider? Who? I mean, when you, Do you look know at, that table tennis has more it's viewers more, uh, than track and field in the world? 
Yes, but but yeah, what I'm yeah, saying, yeah. um, track and field. In Jamaica, Perry, Perry, Perry. No, 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 in Jamaica. No, track and field. In is the that, Olympics, it is high. The track and field is third. highly watched. It's, it's third. It's, 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 it's third. one of the most it's watched. Third, third most watched. The All most right. watched. Sport. Do you know the most watched sport in Olympics? Would you guess? Probably it's table tennis. No, it's China? gymnastics. Gymnastics. Yeah. But what 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 Second I'm saying is off the top of my head. Oh. Track and field is third. Second is uh second. Who's second again? I'll, I'll get back to that. But gymnastics is the most watched. Well, maybe yeah. swimming. Swimming is second. Yeah, swimming. swimming second. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, you know what? Watch. Are <laughs> yeah. we having any Jamaican swimmers? Um, is, no. swimming, is swimming more popular than track and field, I think? Worldwide, watching w events. W worldwide. When world championship swimming coming on, you think that. I, 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 want you, I want you to find this stuff. When Bolt was running, well, I want you to tell me the ratings for, for no, that Bolt, Olympic. Bolt, Bolt is. <laughs> The upstart for track and field. Yeah, yeah, Bolt is, yeah. Is pushing. Bars. I think Beijing, Beijing, two thousand nine eight. I think tracks was probably the most watched. Maybe, we we can check that out. We can check that out. Probably twenty twelve as well in London. Yeah, but I'm yeah, saying London, the most London. watched sports um, are but gymnastics. Back, but back to your table tennis. Back mm -hmm. to your table tennis mm -hmm. argument. Mm -hmm. the, the average person, the the, the the average person this side of the world, are Europe. They they they're not gonna table tennis is not viewed like a football. No, table tennis is not in the top ten in Olympics. Yeah, but it is in most viewed sports in the world. Yeah, so so, so people close to the sport would stay up to watch you. Yeah, and maybe one or two people that here said Jamaica and they much, kind of look. And the thing is, there's not much track, track and field events here. But I mean, there's starting yeah. Michael Johnson starting a new track and field league. I mean, there's yeah. a Diamond League that shows no one then that. But we had the, but we had the discussion about track and field. Mm -hmm. I told you that track and field is not really. We don't have a lot of participation mm -hmm. in track and field. But the reason why globally. we watched here in Jamaica is because, because it is it is part our, of our tra yeah, tradition. Our tradition. Is our cult, is our culture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can associate with these athletes coming up. So controversial one, boy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your mic is on in a Peter. Yeah. We're not ready for yet, controversial yeah. boss. We we'll tell you when it's your cue. But yeah. yeah man. But so so I think as you, uh, back to the GOA and the J three and the policies that they have for this camp, mm -hmm. this camp leading up to the Olympics. They they have to be a little bit more flexible. Mm -hmm. I, well, I don't think it's monitored. Is it monitored that you attend this camp? We we have to Delve into that, but I don't yeah, think it's and, and, Well, if it's not monitored, then she I'm sure there, to be there must then. be leeways where yeah. you can say, okay, preparation, I'm prepared yeah. here. I can come in a week before and all of that. But but they say the heat at the moment, mm -hmm. huh? you know, when you just lose and you're upset and oh, you might and see she's the She's saying the, that the, these, these sports don't get much attention. The, the throws, the, the, the field see, events. Well, we understand that part. Yeah. We, we, we both understand and the, and that. I think they get a lot of funding from. In little comparison, the little <laughs> funding that Jamaica do funds their athletes, yes. they get a lot of it. In they comparison, get the majority of it. In comparison, that's a sad man shaking him head here. You agree? Comes back to my, and it comes back to my point: Jamaica is not a sporting country. Yeah. We just love sports, but we don't yeah. invest in our sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sports is a business, and it goes to show that businesses in Jamaica, yeah, Same. don't really run well yeah. unless you know you can get something back. From it right away. Mm -hmm. say you want to invest something that you can and get right away. Now. They yeah. don't want investing at that because hey, hey we not think that I got medal. But you invest in our board. Yeah. Look at Alia Atkins. She didn't get fully invested in until she started winning. She was self-funded yeah, right through right her through, career. Right, right she made that breakthrough. When she made that breakthrough, oh, the grace run on and the this run on and the that run. On. Which I mean. You have to give thanks to those sponsors that hey come on board but yeah if she didn't make that breakthrough when she was coming up and all that potential so can you imagine how many people um many fall, fall, fall by the wayside uh, how many alia yeah, out there yeah. because not every, different sports it's not everybody probably can sustain mm -hmm. themselves to, to and a lot over of the people time, work over the period. Period, even so in the minor sports even get a chance i yeah. won't call any names but your the tournament that young bird went to the other day mm -hmm. there was a private sponsor for them to go yeah so if that private sponsor didn't come on, there wouldn't mm -hmm. be an under eleven Jamaican mm -hmm. Caribbean champion. Caribbean champion. Yeah, exactly. Same song. We would know that we would be able to have an under eleven Caribbean champion. Yeah. If a private sponsor didn't say, "Hey, we're yeah. investing these youths," because hey, we see where there's a new association and a national coach putting in the work, 
and all of that. So to mm. say, I don't know what's, what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah. I, I hear these things, but it just goes to show on a broader aspect. Yeah, man. She's complaining about not having her coach for two and a half weeks, but she prepared and she's ready for a moment. So you think that those two and a half weeks sabotage her performance at the Olympics? Um, I, 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 you I say it's a technical event. Yeah, but yeah. All but, these events are technical. Every but, event to me is but technical. But you know, leading up to, leading up to such a big moment you, you you need your coach and your mentor you need everybody on board at that point yeah, that you is know true, what i mean just to true. keep anxiety and, and, and are there you know, ways are there ways to to mitigate this loss whereby i don't know a video call or an assistant or a, a mm. next competitor or somebody that it wouldn't be as good but i yeah. can still mitigate the loss in, in terms of your training i mean a phone call Coach, I'm not getting it. I, I, I won't feel good. You know, you have that problem. Turn your hips more, man. You have a yeah. problem where you don't thrust it more. Okay, I'm going to try and be like, you know it, right? Even though the coach not there. I'm not saying it will be the same, you know, but yeah. yet still to mitigate that loss. Because we know what we're working with. And down to the athlete to where you come to match time and you're ready. You have, you have to block out all that noise. And I think she went into that competition with okay. that on her head. Upset. She's thinking about the interview mm -hmm. before she even probably even compete. Possi possibly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, possibly. So if she got yeah. in just at 12 instead of 13, would we be hearing all of this? Maybe, maybe not. If I she mean. had competed and finished 6, would we be hearing all of this? No, she probably she wouldn't come out publicly, but you know, mm -hmm. we didn't... Um, when and she a lot of her... athletes come out and are going through a lot. I'm yeah. sure Roger is going through a lot. Sure. But they keep it within a circle. They keep it within a circle. Opinion, yeah. it with them, within a circle. Opinion, uh, mm. With the, the, the field events doing so good, she made it at this point in time to make it sure that, hey, everybody banking on this prince and banking on this, but look where the medal's coming from. Yeah, that, 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 that's, yeah, that, that, that was point, a big thought. Yeah. That was a big thought. Look talk. where the medal's coming from and this prince, <laughs> them basically failing. And but, well, and if them failing and their coaches are there, then what is that to say then? Mm. But you, you, you think that the sprinters are failing, though? No, so to say, we're not getting the bunch of medals. Oh, the, oh, the gold medal, yeah, in terms yeah, of the getting the gold. Man, yeah, yeah, that, that, the ball, ball, that is ball. true, because I, I, I didn't want Kishi and Choi all the silver. I never even want that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want that. I think I don't want that. Want that. <laughs> and, oh, you know, they get their chance, and Casey comes second. Yeah, we can't talk about that the whole time. Come on. Yeah. That, that, that's 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 one of the topics that we have to touch on and i'm sure later of on course. the show i hope controversial boss keeps it short because you know him having soliloquies over yeah. the lineup we have uh, mr simon thompson in studio to share his his views on olympics as well mm. and i'm sure fragging five yeah. is always more than five but yeah. like some hot topic for say I mean, yeah another controversial figure here on the primary sports team. I tell you, I'm surrounded by them. Yeah, so you want Kishi to win medal? I yeah. don't know what Peter come with. From the yeah. hours of some madness. I think <laughs> Simon is the, the same one that's going to save me today. Yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> but to touch on the next thing before we have Peter's sports commentary in a few. What I, do you I, think I, of no 200 meter and 400 meters runners? Boy, ah. Uh, I want to touch on no allies yet. You know? Yeah, we don't even touch. I know, I, I wanted to even. Point, so we'll talk, point, we'll talk, point out, point out something that I, that I noticed from the other countries. I say, um, Tobogo mm -hmm. running the four by four. You see that leg? That last yeah, leg? Yeah, oh. the, the four by four mm -hmm. running an event that, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm saying, why we, why we don't adapt some of those? I see Fenke Bull running mixed, uh, relays. mixed relays and relays. Fenke Bull and Clever. Yeah, I Clever see, I see McClacken, mm. even though she didn't run the flat four in the four. I, I'm saying, why we don't adapt some of, some of, some of those kind of, you know, we see Sherika. I think Sherika should be on our four by four leg too. You know what I mean? I mean when she's fit. Yeah. When she's fit. Front of that one, you might, you I might always wanted to see Bolt on the four by four leg too. You know what I mean? You know what? Them not <laughs> sacrifice them. Them not no, sacrifice that. It's such an exciting case. race to see the. No, this, this, from a fan standpoint. Yeah, it's an, it, from it, an it, athlete and an agent just standpoint. Just like champs game. I am not risking my runner to put him out there to get injured when that bread and butter needs to have on more butter and more but, butter. I am is it, is, is it, is it all I about what about entertainment? For who? For is, is, my is, pocket? Isn't sports about entertainment? Kian, when we go to champs and back in those no. days when 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 the man, when the, the, the sprinters as them are jumping from the four by four leg and create and, and, and run down a man from fifty meters out. What are you talking about, man? Yeah. You know how good it would have been to see all the bolt and the anchor leg running down um whoever it was at the time from America. Yeah, and, and the thing. Chiboka does one two. One two. Uh, one two. And him still jumping at the four by one and him jumping at the four by four. And that leg what he run on the four by four. Yeah. 
to go go run one of yeah, man. the epic four by fours. Although and, the and American, think, you know, think we're too, Benjamin, we're too petty now. Meters. You know, think we're too petty when it come on to the relays now. Uh, Who want to run this leg? I'm not. Yeah. I can't run a I third saw, leg saw, because saw, uh, because it's a corner. It's gonna I affect my grind. Or <laughs> I can't receive button in my right hand. Mm -hmm. I'm I saying, saw where it was said. It was said that names weren't called. A coach was threatening to pull out their athlete from a relay leg if the athlete didn't run that specific leg. Man, we need to stop it. No, we, we need. We're not calling any names. We don't know no name that. was established. <laughs> No name was established. Yeah, but I think we're too petty, and I think it it, it killing the vibes, the whole spirit of, of the relays. It's, it was it's, influenced by the name. I, I, the coach, it, it's you know, we, you, get, you get details. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not St. Francis. So don't we know you? You know, some you're ready people for bash. Here, Anything like with to, the fan, fan and butt, like you're ready. You're ready, you're ready. To bash. <laughs> but I'm just saying. <laughs> Yeah, but we have to look past that. Yeah, the two. I think it's too petty. I think that it's it's it's, it's been happening for about it's about the third Olympics now. It's been happening from from twenty twelve. You know, can receive in that time. A matter of fact, who oh, taller eight. than who? Yeah, I you notice know, that four by one team were Bolt and Asafa. They remember Bolt ran out third leg. Yeah, Bolt ran out ankle leg. Yeah, and one thing everybody wanted to win for Bolt, and they ran that race. To me, that is one of the most epic races I've ever seen. Four by one. World record race, yeah, from Nesta Carter to Michael Freita to you see him both as half a part. Beijing, Beijing, and I yeah. think they just say, All right, some people before even watching the race, why Freita run the, the back stretch? That is the longest leg. Freita ran a leg there. That mm. I don't know what got into him, but yet still, and he passed up to who the big man. I look at Freita's side to both side. Yeah, the man and just compete, the man just come together and, and com compete because yeah. what. The RM are compete for the same goal and they might do so, it for So what goal. is this problem with and the RM want to get both that yeah. triple triple that yeah. triple that triple for the Olympics. The triple the triple gold medal. And the so world they record. just come and say, all right, cart off the pen. Freight. Who would I think freight are in a back stretch like that? Mm. Everybody want, oh, bolt to the first my bolt anchor. Bolt run the bend. Yeah. And give it to Asaf and Asafa put him head down and run like a beast. And uh, deeper, you ever see yourself a deeper line? Yeah? <laughs> what do you think a deeper line for? Yeah, yeah, a yeah, yeah. deeper the line for? Yeah, so yeah. they said they need to come together. Camp sniff is squash beast. They need to crush. I mean, on I, this big stage, I agree with you. And I, I, and I think, and I think a lot of it falls on on, on the athlete themselves as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? I remember. I think it was 08. Mm -hmm. Um, at the time it was um it was Shelley and this what, what's her name? I can't. What, yeah, Sharon Simpson, Sharon Simpson Karen that Stewart. Karen Stewart yeah. complaining about which leg she can't run, and, and I'm saying, mm. and I'm saying, if Michael Frey to carry a back stretch, and time and time again, it's the same thing happening mm. with, with the same set of runners from that time until yeah, now. Yeah. When will it stop? Yeah, yeah. And that shows to me that the vibe in the camp is like there's segments in the camp, yeah, you over here, and me yeah. over here, and yeah, oh, come on, man. But before we dive more into other things. And as I said, it's a one hour show and we have a lot to cover. Yeah. We have a lot of views to get to because as I said, we need to hear Simon's view because he picked Noah Lyles and Kishi in terms of Simon's. I don't know what kind of soup he's drinking because I know he's not a drinker. I'm, I'm telling you, and, and Curly. Yeah. I mean, so and he, he's, 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 he's budding to go on the show to give his views on his Olympic predictions and all that. But before we get into that, it's time for sports commentary with the controversial boss himself. I think he's somewhere in, in Ukraine or North <laughs> Korea. I don't know where he's, but he's off the island. But you don't know if keep it primal and for chime in. Controversial boss, take it away. Greetings from an undisclosed location. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, I welcome to sports commentary, not sports controversy. But let me start <laughs> off with something not controversial. Should Leon Bailey be allowed to apologize and come back and play football for Jamaica? I don't know. I'd like to get your guys' opinion on it because. Leon Bailey having dissed the country um, at the time when we needed him um, is now on the announce of a new coach. I hear that he's, he's open and willing to come back and the JFF wants an apology. I don't want no apology. I don't think, I think we should look forward and that's all I'm saying. I'm not talking about whether he should be included or not. I think we should be looking forward, not backward. Or maybe looking for more forwards while moving forward. Anyway, um, Olympics, guys, I, I hear you give your impression, and I just have a few things to say about uh, Olympics. I saw um, Sydney's record, and but I've been 
saying that the 400 meter hurdle is too easy for Sydney. Um, it's just too easy. And I really feel that she can break that record a few more times, Kim. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. uh, um, the hurdles are not high enough that she's even hurdling. She's striding <laughs> over the hurdles. And it gives her something of an unfair advantage. He's like an eight-foot-tall player playing basketball. Mm -hmm. He will not need to dunk. He will not need to jump. He just stands under the basket and just put the ball in the thing. And then we'll call him the greatest basketball player ever. But is he really playing basketball? Mm -hmm. So is Sydney really hurdling? I think Sydney should maintain a hurdling form like other people. Have you seen Gail Devers jump over the, the women's hurdles? She's hurdling. What Sydney is doing is striding over the hurdles. She has a dimensional advantage. It's like <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal or, or one of those guys, you know. Anyway, I think Sydney has an advantage. She cannot break that record uh, many times. That doesn't impress me much. What impressed me is Duplantis. Duplantis, um, the Swedish hydro, um, pole vaulter, is breaking the high jump record with regularity and, and with the help of the crowd. I, yeah. You can't tell me that it's the man the planned time. to fail twice. <laughs> You yeah. cannot tell me that he planned to do two jumps, fail, and then on the third jump, the last event of the night, break the world record. You guys saw it? Yeah. It was drama, and it, it's one of the few reasons we watch field events. Now, I don't watch much field events. I think nobody cares about field events. <laughs> I think that I think I just saw a girl who do shot put for Jamaica saying that the, the medals are coming from field events. I don't give... Nobody cares about field events. I'm sorry, guys. Field events is something they do in the middle of the field while we get ready for the next track event. That's what field events are. Field events is like commercials. It's like when you when, when they have a commercial and you go to the fridge to get a to get a cool drink, they're having a field event at that time. I don't watch field events. So I don't know why this lady wants to have her special coach, who is her husband. Um, she wants to have her coach with her and all that. Because if, if, if the if the um, Olympic Association say that's the size of the delegation. That is the size. Already, I feel the Olympic Association delegations are too large. They're beginning to look like table tennis delegation <laughs> with all these parents and coaches and all these people. You know, three players going to play and 40 people going to watch and to cheer and to carry the luggage. It's too much. Olympics, too much. Too much physio, too much, um, too much people, right? Use the, 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 the tickets on athletes. That's just my feeling. Breakdancing is getting a bad rep. You guys, are, you keep on showing this 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 Australian girl struggling mm -hmm. on the floor and saying that's breakdancing as the Olympics. Can I tell you guys something? You guys missed out. If you guys saw the Japanese girl that won the women's, and the I don't remember where the winner came from, a Korean I think for the men's. The, the, these guys are doing floor work that is capable of winning the floor work at the um at the Olympics, gymnastics, the floor work, and they're doing it to a beat and with that hip hop flavor. You guys missing out, showing us the very worst girl who is an Australian professor of something or the other, showing us that and tell us that's what breakdancing was at Olympics. It's not true. The problem is that you guys did not get to see a lot of the Olympics. And part of the problem is the structure of the Olympics. The, a peacock in North America um, and, and other places, then put the thing on pay per view. So the TV channel want to make all the money. And I have a simple question. Where is the money for the athletes? Yeah. Athletes don't make any money at the Olympics. Those gold medals are not gold. It's a piece of steel colored yellow or, or bronze or whatever. They're not gold medals, right? And, and so you're not winning a lot of money at the Olympics. Some people get a little thing, you know. Don't get me wrong. I hear Singapore and Hong Kong give people enough money. From the government. But the, but the Olympics... Uh, is a indirect method of making money. It's not a direct making uh, method of making money. So people who go on the conflict box and all these kind of people do make money. But the Olympics is a big alley button. Now, um, I, I need to say, alley button. <laughs> if I can say something about table tennis for a minute, I think that, that the format that the Olympics tries to, to force upon us, which is to have many nations playing, is affecting the quality of the play. I think that Truls Morgat was did great he did fantastic to get a silver medal in singles while being seeded probably about 18th and then to get a silver medal in teams is was a fantastic show by the swedish all expectation was on the french who had a particularly highly ranked team 
and the Germans who were overrated because they didn't come with the strongest team. But um, I think that table tennis, the quality of table tennis, the finals, I think Fan Zhendong really showed us what a big man is. Um, there, I see a big man in the studio there, Kian. Kian and me are the two big men in table tennis in Jamaica. So we, oh, there's a third man in the, in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a big man in the room. Not, you're not as big as you and me, but it's still big. So, <laughs> a bit smaller. Um, <laughs> going to the gym. Are you a national champion? Many times, Simon Tomlinson is there. Good to have him on. I want to say about the photo finish. Um, I'm not in Jamaica now, but I'm just one speaking to my fellow Jamaicans. So people from the other islands, please don't listen in while I'm speaking to my fellow Jamaicans. <laughs> Y'all need to get over the photo finish, man. We lose the race. Stop calling for sheer medal and all this kind of thing. The man them win. We know we're going to beat him next time. Kishia needs to fix some technical matters and then he will win every race after that. But Jamaicans, I feel embarrassed that you all can't just accept the losings. When we win, we have won many races in Jamaica. There are many more to come. As a Jamaican, I don't feel good to see how y'all balling about no lives. He saw the beaten hat. You just take the beating, man. We're going to beat the man in other races. So my message to Jamaicans is get over it. The photo finish, the man them did not cheat. Olympic races, all races are decided by the torso, whose torso crosses first. The man dip. Merlin Otti never wanted to dip, and she lose. Jamaican, you don't like the bow? When it comes to race, bow. <laughs> bow at the line. All right. No, tonight, uh, two last things. I know, I know Kane is telling me to get the hell off the phone. The, uh, of the UFC tonight, Israel Adesanya makes a comeback against Dracos Duplantis. Now, this is really funny because we have a black man representing a white country, New Zealand, fighting against a white man representing Africa, Dracos Duplantis. It's an interesting fight because Duplantis is saying he's the only real African in the race, while the <laughs> other man look more African than him. However, as a fighter, Duplantis is a really good fighter. Duplessis is a really good fighter. He's strong in every department of the game. And I'm afraid of those guys. Adesanya is an outstanding striker. But I think if Dracos gets him down, which must happen over the five rounds, I think that he's going to wear out Adesanya. Adesanya is living too much of the superstar life. I don't, I, my, my scouts are not telling me how much training he's doing. So I, 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 um, if you want to make money, like most of my fans do, put your money on Duplessis. Duplessis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little, little uh, thing. So, yeah, and, and on a rather sad note, I, I went, my, my, you know, um, in my Caribbean connections, I went to school in Trinidad and Tobago. And when I went to Trinidad, I entered a little event and beat up all the little man them. The legend, that's when the legend really started. You guys wonder where the legend started. Uh, that's when the legend really started. And um, I met a young fella named Dexter St. Louis, who I gave a lot of help, and he eventually became a great player. But the person who made, who helped us all was a man named Steve Wade. Steve Wade was the head of Tigers Club. And we were many times league champions in Trinidad. And, you know, he used the same racket as I do, the gurgle carbon, which is the, the choice of, the choice weapon of most knights of the, the excellent order such as myself, and, um, and, 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 and um, Stephen died yesterday, sadly. And so on behalf of the primal team, I want to say to my friends in Trinidad and Tobago and the Caribbean, I speak on behalf of, rest in peace, Stephen Wade. You had a good journey. And I know that you're up there holding the kingship for a little while. I'm not getting there for a while, but you're up there with the angels playing some ping pong. That's sports commentary. What say you? Yeah. Controversy boss himself, man. <laughs> Never shot that Kurt. <laughs> controversy, but as you said, the Jamaicans they don't like to bought the line, you know. Yeah. I don't know why we always get out dipped. Uh, I tell you, I said, Brad, we get out deep to the silver medal. Kishi and get out deep. Brad, you're a specialist, though, at, at dipping, though, you know. Americans can dip, but yeah, yeah. I've, I've yet to see Americans lose a dip. Yeah, yeah. Learn of a lean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was one of the, the key points as well. And and the plant is, I mean, I'm gonna break the record probably six more times because I mean this, that's his ninth time breaking the record and I'm clear that height with six centimeters to spare. So yeah. he definitely can go higher. And I'm collecting hundred thousand each time break the record, so why not? So it's easier for him to break the record than somebody to break the record on a track. Like say for instance, uh, Sydney who has done it six times. Mm -hmm. So I mean those two were 
when a, both highlights of the Olympics were world record were set in, in so regard. I mean, Peter Sam no watch field events, but I do. And I think one of the, the biggest things that yeah, it was the Pakistan javelin thrower, the man show over 90 meters twice, the man, the Pakistan man. I was seeing Pakistan and, and India square off in the javelin. Yeah. I was wondering if it was a cricket match. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was exciting. But I think the field events is very exciting. It, and to me, my favorite event in track and field mm, is the high jump. The high jump. I don't know if it's where I've, I sit in a stadium, I mean, by association of the winningest school, yeah. but to me, high jump is electric and, and fun to watch. I mean, yes, you have the 100 and 200 and 400 key matchups, but I mean, high jump and where they get the crowd involved and long jump is exciting as well. But for me personally, I, I, I enjoy. Yeah, the high jump is one of the, yeah. yeah, the high jump so, definitely. So for you, I don't know, other people might say long jump, other people might say 100 meters. I mean, but I think I think the high jump is one of the most yeah, the, high, I, I I, the, the, the high jump and the pole vault mm -hmm. for me yeah. for me still but yeah the high jump is definitely number one yeah but you see you know a lot of people don't know that even the five thousand meter races and ten thousand is very exciting in the last part very exciting yeah, we can't watch you very, for a couple of trust me it's very the last exciting three laps. The yeah. last three laps <laughs> when you're the, uh, especially if you have come even steeper chase yeah. Even yeah. the Steve Chase when you come yeah, in on the last lap and you'll be like, yeah. Oh, I hear the bell. Ping, ping, ping. When yeah, you hear man. that bell, yeah, you know, yeah, man. like you say, All right, no, watch your brother in a fifth place. I come around, big race, just, man. Yeah, yeah. Big but, race. I mean, people, um, uh, somebody I think maybe related to Miss Cleo because yeah. nobody saw this coming and he, he picked the 100 meter finals one, two, to three. The yeah, I one, two, know, three. I don't know if I'm related to Miss Cleo, but we know him here, yeah, a long time, a good friend of ours, um, Simon. Tom or Tomlinson. Hey, mm. I told you before the show started, I feel like I should have your cheer. I mean, yeah. You should be calling me the Schwab. Peter, yeah. the man who took me to cheer. <laughs> my tell crown on the man who took me to cheer. should be calling man, me the Schwab. I'm just, I'm just saying that. Negotiations are in progress. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Peter, you better be most already. All right, but go ahead. You have the floor. All right. So I have a couple of things that, I, first of all, first of all, picking out the 100 meters, I, I left the first place open. Because I wasn't sure about first. I didn't call Noah for first, right? Mm -hmm. I did call Kishi in second, mm -hmm. right? Sad to say I was right. <laughs> Obviously, we don't want Kishi coming mm -hmm. second. But first of all, to Kishi, if you are by chance watching or hear about this, you have rep for the island one time. This is your first time. Mm. Your first time representing the country. You're at the Olympics and you're in the finals and you are the favorite. You are the world lead. You come second, right? You've disappointed nobody. Yeah. You, you, you've done something that is so incredible. It's almost unfathomable. Yeah. For anybody to make their first Olympics. Like said, given the experience that he has. Exactly. Little to yeah. no experience. Exactly. And I've seen a lot mm. of experience runners. Cold sure. sweat, wash them. Yeah. I mean, when yeah. finals come, them down the pack. Yeah. Finish fourth, finish last, yeah. finish seventh. So finish just, sixth. just making it to that point. Yeah. Just yeah. doing what you did. Mm. Amazing. Completely amazing. Um, one thing, me and Peter are somewhat aligned. I know how you said I was probably the hope for you this week, but me and Peter are kind of on the same page, right? When it comes to this Olympics, Jamaicans are not fans of sport, yeah. mm -hmm. right? They're not fans, no. right? We claim, well, not claim, we have the fastest man in the world at 977 for the year. Yeah. What him lose the race? Yeah. Mm. By whatever, whatever method measurement, of, yeah. of measurement, you know, in he, the line, he man. lost the race. More deep in so now my thing is Jamaicans don't understand this thing called bragging rights. Mm -hmm. Noah has the bragging rights. Why? In the hundred meters. In the hundred meters, yeah, yeah, hundred meters. <laughs> we'll get to that. We're we'll gonna get to the <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In the hundred meters. We'll get to yeah. Mr. COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 In the hundred meter, right? But at that point, you have the bragging rights. Mm. All right, anybody can talk to you. If you want to claim that you're the world's fastest man, uh, controversial, but I mean, hey, it would take yeah. it take it over before we get it, right? One thing I dislike about this Olympics, this whole what name the remuneration run, um, the, re the recharge run, re recharge, yeah, repoche, repoche. whatever. Fancy Peter, I word. think you know a little French. You know that word first. What's the word? Repercharge. Repercharge. What are repercharge? Yeah. Okay, Mr. And, and I think it's grossly unfair as well, yeah. because it means you're moving to a round in which others have run one round less. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I find yeah. it, it took, you know, to go to a semi final, you're going to run one more race and then you're a little bit more tired. It's not fair. It's exactly. not equitable. 
not even fair. I disagree with it heavily, mostly in, because it's track and field. You have the entire season to run well, to run a certain time. You have the entire mm. season to get yourself, your body to a level where you can compete at the Olympics. The Olympics is not the time for you to get redos, to get re yeah. reruns. Because I got consolation. Did, yeah, I can understand. <laughs> except it Simon, can. except Simon, that mm. the crowds love it. Um, yeah. it. What they're showing is that people, the people were excited at this, this, this chance, this second chance. Yeah, of course, because you have you have all of the fastest losers. Yeah. It's more of an even playing field. No, I understand. And you have a but second chance. Story. But you have to yeah. understand the French, you know, the French like this Coliseum mentality. They like this. They like <laughs> this beat down and drag out. If they could have run, if they could have make Noah and uh, what Kishi and run again, they would have made them run again. Yeah, that that's true. That is true. It's but I, I disagree. I, ho I hope that never comes back to the Olympics. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it. I, I don't like reading. Apologize for uh, Djokovic. Oh, I don't get to the tennis yet because you know okay. I, I say okay. that plus I want, okay. I, I want time to run out when I'm saying that. Yeah. Jokovic, it's hard to say he's not the goat. The goat. So you can't bring it up yet. Wait till like sorry, 3 sorry, 59. Sorry. Give me yeah, 12 yeah. more minutes. Yeah. And I'll be like, oh, sorry, people, I'm out of time. Um, Djokovic is maybe with the goat. And, yeah. yeah I, I can't agree. say that on air. I agree. Air, I, agree. Yeah, I, agree. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I do like how you apologize for Sydney. No, don't don't know how we could better against her. No, I don't. Oh. Yeah, I, I thought I, I, I maybe to Fenker ran an extra race, an extra event. No, but fifty point three seven is, is Fenker had a good time this year, man. It was yeah. Yeah. Sean, I mean, fifty point nine zero early in the year, but fifty point three seven. Sydney was fresher. Anytime Fenker run, Sydney just go run faster. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, as you said, <laughs> Peter, they are jumping over a hassock. The hurdles is too low. It's not a hurdle; it's a hassock. She's not hurdling. <laughs> It is, it's so just a classic hurdling, hurdling technique requires you to sail over the hurdles. Yeah, Perfect. jump. Look here, look here. Jump. Landing oh, foot the, is the landing haters, before the haters, other foot crosses. The yeah. haters will motivate us. Don't worry yeah. about it. We, no, don't, care not, what, trust me, we don't care what you want to say. Don't get it started, Simon. <laughs> and why is Sydney can't smile? Sucks better than anybody else. Have you guys okay. noticed? <laughs> Sydney can't smile. Why she looks so serious, about? Yeah. Hello, hello. She's, she's, a, a, she's a she's a, a a young, talented, beautiful track and field. She, focus, she's black, or she draw for the crown focus, too. Yeah, she draw for the focus. crown like a, like a queen. All right, and you guys did say you mentioned that some Olympics, um, some Olympic sports will be added. new ones will be added mm. to the next Olympics. Mm. I'm sad. I'm sad to see break dancing go because Peter is right. If you had watched the um Koreans and Japanese and then did the break dancing, it would have been legit. So you think right? break dancing is a sport? No, I think. Well, <laughs> I was on a car with Ding Dong and TJ, yeah. and between me and the two of them, yeah. we was going either drift yeah. or the the something. Stir fry. Yeah, we're going to stir fry, stir -fry. somewhere yeah, yeah, yeah. to the next Olympics. Yeah. But that's besides yeah, the yeah. point. Yeah. They'll get through that way. They'll get, yeah. they'll get lucky this trip. No. <laughs> The last thing that before I go, um, when you you have the Olympics you now, you've you've performed as an athlete. The question is, what do you get having competed at the Olympics, yeah. right? You know that. So I believe it was the World Athletics offering yeah. this time for the first time mm -hmm. athletes being paid for their performances, yeah. right? Cash. But most other athletes don't get much representation yeah. at the mm -hmm. Olympics. The Olympics mm -hmm. is more of a, a, a I don't want to say volunteer. Yeah, it's for mm -hmm. prestige, right? Prestige. Mm -hmm. So I found an article that I found. I thought you guys might enjoy where they have everything Filipino gymnast yeah. Carlos Yolo will receive for winning a gold medal. From right? the Philippines. Yeah. Crazy. So here's what here's what he's getting. One, a house gifted by his country's government. <laughs> the government. The government. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Two, house. it's fully furnished two bedroom condo valid valued at twenty four million Philippine pesos. That's about four hundred and fifteen thousand US dollars. Mm. That's a lot of money. Four hundred and fifteen thousand US so I mean House. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Ten million in cash, which is about one hundred and seventy-three thousand US from the Philippine Sports Commission, and three million in cash, that's about fifty-two thousand from the country's House of Representatives. Yeah, so you get from the government, the House of Representatives. Yeah, and yeah, last but not least, I think yeah, a lifetime of free colonoscopies and um, gastroenterology consultations, wow. but <laughs> only once he turns forty-five, and he's now twenty-four years old. Yeah. <laughs> right? wow. So my question is for you guys: When do you think Jamaica will get to the point of rewarding the athletes for performances? Because I mean, look at Roger Stoner. Yeah. You didn't expect a gold medal from him. Yeah. Nobody yeah. called that. Yeah. Nobody would. Have, that okay. wasn't even on my mind as a medal. You think Bruce Gurney go? Every, every now, every, a two two bedroom condo um, on the North Coast. I don't know. I don't uh, know. It's not. It's no not. way. <laughs> no way. Oh, yeah, Government also represents I, I think one or two at least got back in the days. Yeah, like, sorry. And yeah. I, and I, and I yeah. iPhone 16. Huh? Yeah. I, I, and I, an iPhone 16. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> just throwing that. I saw for them come on yeah. YouTube. I said, them, they get them, them, them supposed to get land and all know them. I know them, they get it. 
Is that for sure? Promise, promise. Ah, for sure. For sure. Uh, for sure I but I mean, not even land, just a little cash incentive, anything. Something. Just something. Yeah, yeah. When we get to that point. At the same time, you got $1 million but, but, from Singapore. What's her name? Um, Feng. Oh, yeah, um, Feng Tianwei. Yeah, yeah, yeah. $1 million US dollars. Mm. That's a like, bronze? Something yeah. like bronze. Yeah, yeah. But notice we don't talk about the men's 200 meter final where oh. Timbogo ran 19.46 so to capture the goal. Yeah. Before he even got to Africa. Big up the Caribbean nations. Oh, First yeah. of all, hey, 100 meter. Yeah. What's her name? Alfred, Julian, Julian Alfred. Alfred. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Right? And sadly, I thought she'd have come first. Jasmine Camacho Queen yeah. from yeah. Puerto Rico, the um, 100 meter hurdles. Yeah. I, had, I had her in Tiela Fun. Tiela Fun. Triple jump. Dominic. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. Dominic and Ga- um, who's Dominica. from Guyana as well. There's one. No. There's someone who met her from Guyana. I can't remember the name though. Not in track and field. Not in track and field. Yeah, in track and field. In track and field. Yeah. I know yeah. that. Uh, what's his name? Got a bronze in the Decathlon. The Decathlon, that's mm-hmm. it. That's Ghana. No, it's Grenada. 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 Ah, Grenada. Ah, my yeah. apologies. Yeah, yeah. The Grenada, Grenada throw. Well, well, I think he finished fourth. Fourth, fourth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. even so, well, as I said, big up all the other small island Caribbean yeah, athletes. Man. Also, some are, are athletes that didn't medal, like Jaden Hibbert finishing fourth. Young Tila Clayton, Tina, yeah, a teenager, making the final. Making the finals 100 meters and what Brighton for the future. Mm. I mean, all over the board, a new gent, she made the finals, although she didn't finish her race. Mm. I think that, I mean, making her first Olympic finals, coming for world championships and further tournaments, and further Olympics, worry, she man. will be, in, in she LA, will be better. LA, we're going LA will be better. Anyway, I, mean, I know you guys have Froggy coming in, so let me give yeah. him some space, yeah. him jump in here as well. Yeah. But yeah, Primal, thank you for having me. This yeah, fun, yeah, right? yeah, Don't yeah. make any more predictions. Oh Call me if I'm not. I soon, I soon talk about, I soon talk about joke of a okay. trick. <laughs> you wouldn't let that one down. But parchment making the finals again. Yeah. And I mean, I stay up for them, eh? Yeah. So we have a lot of races. good performances all over. People thought it was a disappointing Olympics. Yes, it was disappointing because we expected more medals. But a lot of people went out there and and made a lot of finals. We wanted more, but yet still we have to big them up. As I said, some four place finishes. And before we jump into fragging five, I saw a clip where. There were three sports where one country dominated all of it, all, won all the gold medals. Mm. China mm-hmm. in table tennis mm-hmm. on all the five gold medals that were offered in the sport. China in diving won all the medals in diving. Yeah, expect all them. the gold medals in diving. I think it was Japan in archery, I think, after double check that one. But those three dominated those events. And I think mm-hmm. that's it. So that's why again back to Peter's point, hats off to Sweden for getting silver medal in the singles males and in the team events. Yeah. Males. Yeah. But total dominance from China in yeah. diving and team things. Yeah. Frog in five, what's up? Tell us what going. Oh God. Um I like what you say. I do believe this Olympics is the worst. But not on a medal perspective, on a more mm. administrative side. I know the saying goes when something large is about to happen. It happens in small pieces. Small things tend to happen before the chaos. So you have small issues. And we saw that coming up right through to the point of the Olympics. Athletes not running, athletes hiding injuries, athletes deciding say, hey, this is not for me. To the point where we have mixed relays, one cascass over the mixed relays. Who's supposed to run, who now run? Then comes down to the four by four for men. Fano and the JOA, JOA and J3, J3 and Fano. All these athletes, the clubs, the athletes, the coaches, everything just going haywire right before the Olympics. And then to the point of the Olympics, even when the team was selected, problems with the delegates. Who not going? Glenn Mills not on the delegate list. Who's coach not there? And even while they're at the camp, there's still issues going on. So administrative side, clubs and coaches side, everything was going wrong leading up to this Olympics. And it was just the worst I saw it in the performances. You saw where some of the athletes were just not there. Sure, you can go there for vacation. <laughs> because you were injured from way out a week or two weeks before the Olympics. They got a small injury. Everyone hiding it. They still go there to the Olympics. come. The press conference. Super- Still tell go the, to the Olympics. Tell the people them that, oh, everything yeah, she's good. good. She's good. Good to go. And you're not running. You don't even warm up. Mm. Not even warm up. I say, treat the crowd. Shelly, I'm a friend, but one race, mm-hmm. man, that's never a little touch and them claims say uh, you feel a little just jump. Just go to the bank. Just go to the run and go. Just go and 
just have a little more money for make on the circuit. Yeah, but that, that's, the, that's the point, you know. Yeah, mm. There are issues coming up. Why hide it? It must come out. When Sharika don't run that 100 meter, you could have put somebody else in there to run, you know. Mm-hmm. If you're injured, you're injured. It's, it's, it's done. You're injured. You can't run. Do a alien. Mm-hmm. Alien say, somebody she can't run. run. Sasha Lee Fab's run, the 100 meter. 200. 200. 200. Sasha Lee ran 200. But then she said she was good for the 200. Yeah, but Sasha Lee ran the 100. Well, she's nobody clearly else. not good. She's not been good. We didn't have any anybody else that met the standard. The yeah, but you're you hiding these injuries. So they hide, they hide the injuries for what? For financial financial for benefits. Because mm-hmm. once you go there, you know. Blame them. Contract. You blame them for it? If you blame them? Yeah, yeah. Of course, you blame them. So, financial. Notice what Simon said, what the Philippines government gave. This you can't look at athlete. the Philippines. I'm just, no, but I'm just saying these athletes get, get nothing. So, when they can get it, Due to their contracts that they sign, you have to whatever, capitalize. Whatever, Worse, as an athlete, way they can. your window. So as what an about athlete, the other athletes who are signed? I have a problem with them. Still who could make the team? Understand why who could have were. made the team? And because you are selfish in your own demands, because your contracts. You think you're you're selfish? The, but you train hard for four years and you get a slight injury and you can't you must give run. up all of that she money. She could not run. But no, but I'm saying, but to make a put in a replacement for in 100 meters. 100 meter. Fine. What about the 200? There's nobody she could replace. Nobody made the qualifying standard. The two runners ran. They didn't make the finals. The rest, after those two runners, did not make the Olympic standard it's qualifying. So they couldn't have run. It's just messed up. They would have put in somebody else it if somebody else. Wait a second. Yeah. Nobody was saying. Nobody because Zomia says that even if a contract say, fine, mm-hmm. make it to the Olympics mm-hmm. to get X amount of money. You're telling me one Olympics, you can't just say, well, but you even so, from, from, a, from did an it. athlete's standpoint, Elaine? Do you think that Elaine realized? Do you that think that Sharika wanted to compete at the Olympics? Wanted to, and what knowing that you can't, it's two different things. Yeah, she knows she can't. So you can't. Can. So don't go there and just do it. So why not it's go there? Idea. So why not? Why not so, go there? So, so they're collecting money. Yeah. Oh, they say so, a contract. Oh, what are you collecting? Oh, it's a contract. You but she don't run. So she collect. Okay, I have a. In I mean, stipulated in a contract, like to, if you make the qualify, if you qualify for, for the Olympics, Olympics, they get a certain. But she did it from the trials. So she but she qualified from the trials. Yeah. yeah. So she had make her money. Then you have an appearance. Mm. Well, but she, she, got here. she had to appear. You have to make the team. But she didn't. Make, have to go. But she didn't have to make. No, she no, no what I want to know is, you, you have to appear on the track itself. You make it a plain flat. Don't guarantee your money. You make the team. You fulfill the contract. You make the team. But if you can't go at the Olympic Games itself, you lose that. You lose that money. Yeah. But she didn't compete. So she didn't have to compete. That's a different money. No, again, no, you, know? no. you, you sound like you write the contract. Okay. Like, everybody have a no, different no. contract, you know. Everybody have a different money. Just going to the Olympic you know? Games and sitting in the so games. I was just wondering which athlete you know made the Olympic team. So why Shelly them never just pull out? Shelly Once they met the team race, and they, 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 they know that, that they're going to get that race. bonus or whatever they're going to get, why not just pull out once you reach Parts? Parts. But it looks as if you have another money when you go there. No, okay. you don't. Huh? No, you don't. Which hunt? You have appearance no. fee, you know, just, just like when you have a diamond league. So, so it's what appearance so like appear when you have a diamond league and them say, oh, mm. okay, run at the diamond league. I mm. got the diamond league, you sign it this side, say, oh, me know about that run. So what you appearance you appear? Appearance, what kind you know, of appearance you? Show up on the day. So what kind you of appearance you? You just never participate. No. You, know, you, have to, you have to compete. So compete when? You have to compete it's to get the appearance fee. It's a different part of the country. No, you have to compete to get appearance fee. You can't get appearance fee if you don't compete. So they make a team and then decide that you're not going to want to Sherika is not benefiting from not competing. So who is benefiting? Are you, She's you injured. You, you, you don't think that maybe She's injured. That there was they were probably buying some time to see if maybe she, she could have gotten better They're buying some time. time. She's clearly injured. They mm-hmm. wanted to see if she could compete. Okay. They realized she couldn't compete you don't in think that's the case. No. And they put in Sasha Lee Forbes. No. Yeah, that's why I, I think that was, that's the case though. No. She pulled out to the 200. Yeah. There's nobody to When did she pull out to the 200? But you realize when she pulled out to all these events? At the last time. Yeah, but you put in. You, but you, you know you're not. In your care. You see, if it's a case where who did they she were hinder? Trying to, who did she hinder from not competing? I, she didn't hinder, but mm. hinder the team itself. How? Because somebody else could have gone. Somebody else somebody ran. Could have run the four by one. Somebody else could have gone. A fifth person could have been involved on the four by one team. Only four can run. I mean, with fifth. Only four. It was when they realized that she cannot make but the hundred were... meter. That's when they call Kemba. And Kemba went and, and Kemba she ran. Went. There you go. Time. And they had to use she the same four time. persons because Shelly can't run. She buying herself time and speaking about time. We it's are time. Out of it. <laughs> yeah. You have to, think, you have yeah, to talk about both. Djokovic. You know? Yeah, but to wrap up <laughs> the show, we have to talk about you two know. goats. One, Djokovic, right now completing the tennis world by winning everything. I mean, probably, I think he's the third male to do this, to win everything. Yeah. He's the third male. Agassi did it. 
Rafael Nadal did it. Now Djokovic won yeah. everything in everything. Yes, Olympic so gold medal. I'd have to Djokovic. So, so clear cut in your. No, mind no, no, no. I still think Federer is the gold. Federer who? Federer. <laughs> Federer. Yeah. I still think Federer is the gold. And yes. Nadal is my player. That is coming from a Nadal fan. Okay. What Federer do for the sport at land tennis and to the level that he bring it to, yeah. nobody, I think, surpassed that at this point in time. No matter how much titles he win, I mean, Federer push the sport to, I mean, Peace and Press 114 and Federer pushed to 20. And I mean, what, how he bring the tennis world and the level of play when Federer on, Federer is unbeatable. Yeah. But that to me, but I can't argue against somebody who says Djokovic is the good. But that's yeah. just my view. I don't think I don't I don't think you can find an argument for it still. Not anymore. I just told I just told him my argument. <laughs> I just told him my argument. Um, Federer is unbeatable. Yeah, well but, I, I don't I, I, but I, I the don't, next person <laughs> I want to pick up before we wrap up the show is a Cuban wrestler by the name of my Jean Lopez. I can't pronounce his first name. I mean in Spanish. Mm. Uh, my Spanish is kind of off right now. I'm, hey, damn rep, send for me to Cuba. People, my friends, I need to come back. I speak the Spanish. But <laughs> Mr. Lopez, yeah. Mr. Lopez won his fifth gold medal mm. in five different Olympics. And that is the first an athlete has ever done that. 2008, 2012, 2016, 2020 slash 2021, Tokyo mm. Olympics. And 2024, five gold medals, 40 year old, 41 year old. Mr. Lopez captured. Okay. And to me, that was the performance of the whole Olympics. I give it to Mr. Lopez being a five time yeah, Olympic medalist nice. in five different event, five different stages of the games. Hey, Cuba is underrated as a, as a sporting country, you know. Cuban person in sports. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and they have a lot of world class athletes yeah. in, many, in, in yeah. different disciplines. Baseball, high jump. And diving, every, everything, gymnastics, everything, yeah. everything, you know. Yeah. So it's hats yeah. off to, yeah. to, the, to the culture over there in Cuba. But, um, but we, we have to, you know, one of the, the primal family, one of the, and also a, a former great table tennis player, Randy Fagan, you know, mm -hmm. got mm -hmm. a stroke. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how bad it is, but you know, prayers go out to him. Mm -hmm. You know, he's part of the primal mm -hmm. team as well. I'm yeah, yeah. show on primal here. And yeah. A big, a big and name you. in table tennis here in Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Randy Fagan. Yeah. So people that come to the end of the show next week, we know all the league start. Football is back on the horizon. We we'll jump from one sport to the next. So yeah. Early in the summer, we had the Euros and Copa. Mm -hmm. The Olympics right after now. EPL, Bundesliga, Syria. I mean, La Liga. By the way, you, jump you, off. you guys watch the basketball? No. We don't even talk about USA basketball. <laughs> Serbia versus USA. No, oh, dog. It was a big match, you know. <laughs> anyway, what, well, next week? Boy, but yeah. Next week, we'll talk some football. But that mm. wraps up our Olympic segment, and we look forward to 2028 Olympics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I said we have some new sports that will be joining that Olympics. Um, some people might miss break dancing. I won't, but. Again, thank you, people, people, for joining on the Primal Sports X. Yeah, people, man. People, eh? Yeah, man. Fit FM 96.7, the, prim the Primal 4K family. Yeah. Facebook, YouTube, the World Wide Web. You know, thank you all for joining us each and every Saturday here on Primal Sports. Have a good afternoon or evening. Peace.